Welcome to the second video in Hall's Node. This is Hall's Valhalla. This is basically the setup and just basics of Hall's Node, getting everything started, getting it uh, all set up for your game. Um, and so to, to get started, I want to go over the directory, kind of the structure of it. Whenever you um, whenever you download it, you'll have, of course, Hall's Node, and then you'll have all the files here. Um, you can actually change this to any directory you want. You can um, So if you're using WAMP and you want to make your own game name you can just drag and drop these in there or if you just have a game elsewhere and you just want to drag and drop that's fine the only thing is if you're going to use the server.bat which starts the server you just need to edit it and point it to your location in your node file which is wherever wherever node is at so wherever you drop it make sure to edit that file um, so basically to get started we have our basic just our our app.js, which is our server file, or just a file we set up a server, our index, our style sheet, um, of course, the server.bat, and then we have our includes and our node modules, and then I have a separate file called modules that we have our client modules that we can add, and there will be more of these probably even when you download them, um, and then we have our server files, and I'll go over those in a minute, but those are, those are the two things you need to keep, too. So to start off, let's look at our index.html. Now, you're probably going to have a different... Um, HTML or HTML file or index or whatever, but I just need to show you the important things you need to make sure to include or take yours out of there and put them in here. Um, first of all, we of course have our our local host pointing to our socket I/O. Um, everything here is pretty basic HTML. We have our style sheet and our title. Um, we do create these variables, our socket variable. What I've done here is I'm just creating a, a player name, a random player name, and to kind of give you an idea of what's going on. Let me pop these two open here. And let me start my server by starting server.bat. You'll see it starts. And we're going to refresh. And we have a player join. Refresh. And we have our player join. Now this is just basically when you get the program, it's automatically going to be able to do this right off. So um, if I come in here and say hey, it will, of course, say hey back. Say. And we also have our refreshed where it disconnects adds them in you can see where it takes the player out or if you just disconnect and then it takes the player out of the room so you'll have the rooms coming and going as people join um, so that's all that's one of the things I wanted to do with Hall's node is make it just to where this is already set up for you to where your game now of course your CSS and where you put this stuff is going to be different you can put it anywhere you want but I'm just giving you the tools to be able to where right off the bat you can just drop it in your game so looking at that um, I've just created random players if you if, if you're making a, a game with PHP and you're pulling from the database or even if you're using Ajax and pulling from the database all you have to do is change that player name I kinda left this in here for you to where you can come in and change that and I left it player info 3 because that's how I do a lot of in a lot of my videos that's how I'm pulling so that's an easy way of just changing that player name to whatever it's gonna be um, in between here you're gonna put in your includes as far as your um, if it's chat, chat room, map system, whatever, and right now this is including chat, and that's what's part of that chat system, so it's already including it, all that in there, and we'll go over that. So with our socket functions, the first thing we're going to do is we're initializing the player, and we're adding the player name. That is emitting to the server, which if we look at our server, I'm going to skip over all this and just drop down. Um, we've created some a player list and client ID, which we'll go over in a minute. But the first thing is socket on. So when it's when there is when it has been connected to and it says it's initialized player, we're creating a function and we're dropping in this player name. And what it's going to do is it's going to do socket dot client name equals the name. We're we're pushing um, the player name into the array so we know what all our players are. Um, we're also doing client IDs dot push. There will, we'll have other reasons for that later. Um, but it's so you can actually get the socket ID. And then we want to emit. Now, so IO sockets.emit gives it to everybody. So it's we want to do add player, new player name, and then we're also emitting get users. So if we go back to our index and we go to our add player, um, it's bringing back the name and it's just creating. Now this see this is this is the stuff that's going to change in your game, but I'm just kind of giving you the the tools to be able to use it and easily drop it in your own name. But the way I have it is is I'm doing a, just a message list um, that's just a basic uh, text variable or a string variable that is dropping in the player's name and, and they joined. And then what I'm doing is I'm just grabbing now jQuery would be much easier to use for this, but I decided to not to go into jQuery yet and kind of use raw JavaScript and you guys can go in and do jQuery or however you want to use it. I didn't want to have to include that for people who don't know jQuery and you guys can can kind of do it yourself. 
Um, but anyway, I'm just doing the inner HTML of the chat window adds message list, so whatever's put in there. And then with the git users, um, when you call that, it's going to emit git server users now. This could be done a much faster, simpler way, and you're more than welcome to change it, but there's other things coming up later that I already know I'm going to need this for, and I need to do it this way, and that's why I'm doing it this way. And what I'm doing is I'm kind of doing a double call here, and it, we can, depending on if I figure out a better way of doing it later, we'll go over it later, but for right now this works, and it works fine. It's not really hurting anything. But anyway, so when you call get users, it's going to emit back to the server, get server users, so it's kind of doing a... It's kind of doing it twice when it really shouldn't, but we'll, we'll go over that later. So if we get our server users, um, we drop down. It's just going to bring in the player list and socket.net player list player list. So what you can do to split this right now is get users and then just put in player list right there and then just have it go right there. You can do that, but there was other reasons why I did this for later coming up. And you'll see them soon enough, but you're more than welcome to change it back. If you're confused with what I'm saying right now, don't worry about it. Just leave everything the way it is. Anyway, so we call back our players list. We dropped in the array of players because that's what was created on the server. And we're just saying players is online, line. And we're just creating a, a um, for loop that's looping through all the players and adding it to the to the player list inner HTML so that's all we're really doing there um, and you'll see at the bottom of HTML we have our chat box and all that good stuff that I've created just just to kind of get you of course you guys are going to change this however you want you're more than welcome to this is just to give you guys a basic chat function now the one thing I've done is with the client chat let's do the server chat you don't have to you're not going to include this in your server this is just something you're going to copy and paste now you don't have to because I've decided to go ahead and keep it into the as the natural but eventually we may drop more stuff in here for the chat function and I want you guys to be able to just drag and drop what you want into the server because one thing I did do is I created a function that actually would allow includes on node but I kept having issues with it they kept having these weird errors and I was just like you know what we can just drag and drop uh, copy and paste all of our sockets and all of our functions right here it's not really gonna hurt anything it just makes it easier might come up with a better solution later but for now you know this solution works um, so basically the only other one we really have here is the disconnect and all I'm doing is a remove player and then another get users it's calling again so that way that it removes that player and when you go to index and you have your remove player all it's doing is saying that they disconnected um, and then you're just deleting the the client name and the ID and dropping them out of the array and all that good stuff so <clears throat> that's really all that's there now the one thing I want to go over the neat thing about this is I've kind of left you a section here for if you, this is initialized player so so if, let's say you're using um, impact JS or um, one of the other uh, engines whenever you initialize player anything you need to add anything you need to come back with or if you're creating um, which I'm going to show you here in, a, here in a little bit if you're creating the player class or any kind of class on the server you can create it all right here so every time you have a new player join this is where you want to put you, all of your functions if you're using if you're using um, impact or something like that you're, you're probably going to initialize this out of your players actual um, uh, entity is where you're going to initialize this where I show in the other videos but anyway and then with this disconnect this is you this is where you're going to put everything um, anything you want when the player disconnects so if you have anything to add in there take away and it's the same way with down here whenever we disconnect remove the player anything you want to put in there you want to put in between here and add to it so this is the basics it's it's an easy drag and drop you're ready to go you got your chat system this isn't everything this is just the basics I want to get you guys started with um, and then we're gonna have other modules that we add to it like the, the, the chat rooms the maps the commands like mud commands we're gonna add in there and all these all these are videos that I all this I have done now I just gotta create videos for it and get the download for it and we'll be good to go um, I believe I went over everything I just left the style CSS you guys are gonna change that to your own style CSS later so it's not a big deal but that's the basic gist of the basics this is the way you're gonna get this thing with nothing really included and you're gonna come in and include this stuff later